Hello, my name is Darren Jackson. Welcome to Siemens Industries West Chicago facility in Illinois. Our primary products here are motor control centers, switchboards, enclosed controls, and our new product line of solar inverters. Our campus includes 200,000 square foot of manufacturing facility and 400 assembly workers. We recently decided to upgrade our manufacturing and fabrication area, and that's where Prima Power comes into play. I'm John Hayden. I'm the Manufacturing Engineering Manager for Siemens Industry here in West Chicago, Illinois. We recently purchased and installed an automated fabrication system from Prima Power. Prior to the purchase, we had a multi-step process involving uh, setups that uh, for our cut-to-length line, for our shear operations, for our standalone turrets, for our manual brake presses, and then on to welding and paint. Our new system allows us to eliminate all the material handling in a one-piece flow just-in-time process. What drove our purchasing decision for the new automated line was the company's previous experience with FinPower. Prima has an integrated material handling system that other equipment manufacturers didn't offer. With Prima Power, we were able to utilize the nesting and the night train material handling system that integrated the Shear Genius, the Laser Punch, and the Express Bender. Driving the cost down for production was one of our key objectives. The savings was there to justify our equipment. 80 to 90 percent of the manufacturing Siemens does is custom engineered to customer specification. These parts run through our turret. We need the flexibility to be able to utilize a multitude of materials without setups. Having the Shear Genius integrated into the entire material handling system was a huge upgrade. Today the Shear Genius is a workhorse fabricating 60 percent of our material we produce today. The latest analysis shows a 20% scrap reduction compared to our old cut to length process. The night train takes the raw material from loading to punching to bending to final processing. We have output stations at each of the press brakes and the bender. With the night train we just have one source of material. There's no backups or weights for the material. We know exactly what material we have how much we have and where it's located. What took us three shifts before now only takes us two. Our standard run-of-the-mill square parts like doors and panels fit nicely on the Shear Genius. We purchased our LPE laser punch for the odd-sized parts. The thicker brackets and some of the intricate smaller parts were ideal for the laser punch. We've had excellent results with the laser punch we're running approximately 40% of our parts through it and the remaining 60% on the Shear Genius. This was our first laser equipment that we brought into the facility and I was very pleased with how quickly we were able to bring the functionalities and features online. It performs the way it's advertised and produces accurate parts with excellent edge quality. The servo electric turret on the LP is a way of the future. The Express Bender was new technology for us. When we saw it in operation for the first time, we said, we need this. Setup times occupy so much of our capacity, and it boggles my mind how quick the Express Bender setups are. We went from minutes to seconds on setup. The accuracy, speed, and quality of the machine is something that I've never experienced in the industry. The EB makes you step back and rethink the way you design. The quality it presents is unmatched by human hands, time and time again. There has been a substantial labor savings with our new line. We've been able to utilize the equipment to eliminate our outsourcing of fabrication. All of our sheet metal fabrication is now done in-house. With the equipment we had six months ago, we wouldn't be able to produce the output that we're doing today. When we made a call to Prima Power for help, we had support in hours, not days. We never heard the word no, just what do you need and how can we help? This says a lot about Prima Power and their work ethic. 
They have a good product and they back it with good people.